A little public service announcement before we start this video. I filmed this quite literally, I want to say six months ago. Six months ago. And it's just been sitting on my hard drive. I forgot to edit it. I don't know what occurred to me. Well, I do know what occurred. I'm trash. I am garbage. Anyway, here it finally is. So if you notice, <laughs> I do have blonde hair in it and it does seem like it was filmed forever ago. That's because it was. We're just gonna mind our business and not talk about it, yeah? Okay, go team go. Shiny days, it's book haul time. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna fall with the socks, but I didn't, but I didn't. So that's right, that's right. For all of you that say I'm clumsy, look at that. Look at that circus act I just did back there. Thank you, thank you. Hello my shiny bays, hello my besties. I am back with another book haul. I know, you guys are probably like, Larry, what the fuck, you just did a book haul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, listen, these are more packages that you guys have sent me and I must open it on camera. I must thank you properly. So it has to be done, but I didn't wait as long this time. Like I have, I think 20 packages here. I didn't wait until there were like hundreds. So hopefully this is not gonna be overwhelmingly long. If it is, I apologize. It's probably just because I talk too damn much. Anyway. Hydration, bitch. I really wanted to have a coffee. However, I had two coffees this morning plus an espresso. So I feel like I should drink water because it has been brought to my attention that I drink way too much coffee. And that's probably valid. So whatever. Anyway, here's my knife. This is what I'll be opening the packages with. <laughs> you guys know, uh, what did I call this before? I had a name for this knife a while ago. Was it Stuart Little? Why do I feel like it was Stuart Little? Oh no, it was Winston. It was Winston because of Dean and the score, right? Well, now I'm changing it to Stuart Little because I don't know, I just thought it was Stuart Little. So let's stick with that. I really like that movie. Maybe I should watch that movie. <sighs> what a vibe. But I'm just binging The Rookie. So like, I'm busy. You know what I mean? I can't watch movies right now. Anyway, yay, book haul time. Thank you guys so much to whoever sent me packages. I'm so excited to see every single one of these. Also, this is an unboxing as well because I haven't opened any of these. So I'm very excited to see what's here. First up, we've got, I don't need a knife for this one. Just do that <laughs> with my bare hand. Hold on, note, this is a receipt. <laughs> Enjoy your gift from Riley. Riley, I love that name. I love that name. Like every time I see the name Riley anywhere, I'm like, wow, iconic, like in, have you guys watched Baby Daddy? Baby Daddy is one of my favorite shows. It's so good, so underrated. And Riley in that show is one of my favorite characters. Riley and Danny, I stand. I stand. That's where my hockey men obsession started in with Danny Wheeler. Anyway, besides the point, what did Riley get me? Riley got me. <gasps> Stephen King misery. Okay, listen, listen, let me explain myself. I've been wanting to go on a Stephen King binge for quite some time. Like I literally just wanna read all of his books because the only ones I've read have been like the, the like classic like It and I've read another one, was it? Was it Pet Cemetery? I don't remember, but I've read like some. I haven't read his entire catalog though, even though that's kind of crazy. I feel like I can't do the entire thing, but I feel like a lot of people tell me that Stephen King has way more than just like his popular horror ones and that the other ones are really, really good. So Misery is one I would like to try. It says, it's a novelist. He's met his biggest fan. Oh, and she's dismayed to discover his plans to kill off Misery Chastain, the heroine of his beloved series. Wait, what? Annie wants Paul to write his greatest work just for her. She has a lot of ways to spur him on. One is a needle, another is an ax. And then there's the blowtorch. She's literally a fan of this guy's novel. And when he says he's gonna kill off one of her favorite characters, she's like, absolutely fucking not. You're gonna write a story just for me or else I'm gonna kill you. That is one of the best plots I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow, I love that. Y'all hearing that authors? Don't kill off our favorite characters. We will do anything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am just kidding. This is not a threat to any authors. <laughs> but don't kill off my favorite characters. Just don't. Just don't. Thank you so much, Riley. I cannot wait to read Misery. Thank you for getting me this. Thank you for starting my Stephen King binge. It will be starting soon, and it's it's because of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking of hockey men, I literally just said about Danny Wheeler, and look what's here. Hucking Around by Emily Rath. This is so thick. Excuse the fuck out of me. What is this? What is this? Hold on, there's a note. It says, hi, fellow Harry Styles stan. Hi, that's me. <laughs> Found your channel while in a mental health rough patch. 
Thank you, just finished reading this. I would love to see a vlog. There's a prequel from Jordan Tyler. Jordan, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you found, hold on, I need to fix this necklace, y'all. It's pissing me off. The necklace is like backwards. I have Giant's initial on a necklace. See, G, and he has L, and we always wear it. Isn't that so cute? Anyway, besides the point, I'm so glad you found me during a mental health rough patch. I'm glad I could help. That honestly just means the world to me that my videos can make you feel better in any way. You make me feel better. Thank you so much, Jordan. Also, you just read this and you enjoyed it. However, Jordan, listen, it is so big. It is so big, sweetie. How am I supposed to read this? I can't fall for a player, let alone three. Wait, what? What do you mean three? My name's Rachel and two months ago, I walked away from the perfect man. Wait, I can't fall for a player, let alone three, but if love is the game, these guys are playing to win. Wait, is this with several men? Oh my God, yeah, tropes. Hockey romance, why choose, friends to lovers, insta love, insta love, bleh. Pucking around is a why choose hockey romance with this girl Rachel and three hockey players. She said, no, 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 one is not enough. Two is not enough. Let's make it three, bitch. Wow, Rachel. Hold on, let's just. Good for you, Rachel. Yes, Rachel. Okay, so. That's why it's so big. It's because there's literally three guys. So we need the book to be as big as possible. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying big. We need the book to be as long as possible because all three guys have to have their moment. Wow. Okay. Pucking around. Thank you for this, Jordan. You are going to, you, you are going to educate me. Wow. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what this book is about. I'm very excited to read this. I love the cover. The cover is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look like it would be a white shoes hockey romance. Like it, it gives hockey, but I did not think it was gonna be white shoes at all. So thank you for that, Jordan. You have definitely blindsided me. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for getting me this. Next up we have, hold on. Oh my God, I already see it. Reckless by Elsie Silver. Wait, let's open it so we can see me in the back. Ready? 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 Hello, where am I? Hello? <laughs> That's me. That's me. Hi, mom. I want a book. Our strogan our stroganoffy recipe is there. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited to have this in paperback because these covers are leaving soon and I have Flawless, Heartless. I, for some reason, don't have Powerless. I need to get Powerless, too. And then now I have Reckless. It's in the mirror covers. I love these covers so much. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Where's the note? Where's the note? Hold on. The note's here. Oh, my God. The note. Why is the note so big? Help. Amazon, why you did it? It is a crime for you not to have these books physically in your possession. You made my day with your laughter and anything else you sprinkle in your videos. Anything else? <laughs> I just sprinkle a very little amount of crack in my videos. <laughs> What's that power powder puff powder power power puff girls thing? A sprinkle. Like they put like a sprinkle of happiness, a sprinkle of chaos, a sprinkle. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, keep shining, Queen. Love you, Sherry Nicole. Sherry, I love you. Thank you so much. This is such a sweet note. I'm gonna fold it so that I can put it inside the book. Hold on. Because Amazon, I don't know why they gave me this large note. I really don't. But it will be inside Reckless. Thank you so much, Sherry. I really don't know why I didn't own the physical copy of this. It's a little bit ridiculous, you're right. It's kind of a crime. But you said crime no more. You said I'm gonna fix this for you. And alas, you did. Thank you so much, Sherry. Your note was adorable. You keep shining. I love you, I love you, I love you. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down, the medicine go down, the medicine go down. Here we go. Hi, we met at Summer Sizzle. You called me your angel. Oh, I love you. I'm so excited we met. It's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. It's probably not your birthday anymore because I opened this days later, but happy birthday, my angel. I love you. I got this book as a gift, so I got it for you in case it's good. I hope we can meet again one day and talk about it and other books. Love you from Caitlin. Caitlin, thank you so much. I'm so excited that I got to meet you at Summer Sizzle. Summer Sizzle was so fun because of you guys. Like meeting everyone was amazing. So thank you and happy birthday. I should have been getting you a book. You should put your Amazon wish list down below so that I can get you a book as well so that we can just, you know, be each other's book fairies. Here it is, The Paris Apartment. Oh, Lucy Foley, she's a thriller author. I think this is a thriller. It says, meet the residents of number 12, a beautiful old apartment building, the socialite, the nice guy, the alcoholic, the girl on the verge, and the con concierge. Everyone's a neighbor, everyone's a suspect, and everyone knows something they're not telling. See you in Paris. Okay, that intrigues me to no end. Yes, please. 
Oh my God, and it's different people's POVs. Oh my God, all the neighbors have different POVs. <gasps> That's so fun. Kaylin, thank you so much. Happy birthday. I love you. I love you. I love you. It was so nice to meet you. It was so nice to hug you. And now I have this book that you also have. There's a sticker that's going to piss me off. Is this a sticker that doesn't come off? Oh my God, it's a sticker that doesn't come off. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Anyway, Caitlin, I love you so much. I'm so excited to read this. We will be buddy reading it and we will see what we think. Hopefully it's good. But next time we meet in person, which we will, we will fully discuss. Bestie, I love all your book, TV recommendations, jokes, and coffee order. You literally love me. That is everything that I stand for. Literally book and TV recommendations, jokes, and coffee. That's just me in a nutshell right there. What does that even mean? Me in a nutshell. Anyway, you've given me amazing recs. These two are my favorites, dark romance and thrillers. So you have something for any mood. Love you, sweet darling, from Riley. Wait, Riley's the one that also got me misery. Riley, Riley got me misery. So this is her favorite thriller. So let's see, this is her favorite dark romance. Oh my God, it's beautiful. This is book five in the, what's the series called? Monsters and Muses. I have, I think I have the other ones. I'm pretty sure I do. I've never read any book by Savar Miller besides that one that she has with Emily McIntyre. It's like romance suspense kind of book. I forget what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I don't know. Oh, Be Still My Heart. Be Still My Heart. I read that and I really, really liked it. I liked her writing, but it was also with Emily McIntyre. So I'm excited to read something just by Savar Miller. Oh my God. Yay. I'm so excited. I love when you guys get me your favorite books because then I trust it. You know what I mean? Because you guys love it. Therefore, I will love it. And if I don't love it, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> thank you so much, Riley, for both of these. Now I'm going to say thank you again for Misery and for Souls and Sorrows. Okay. Sorrows. Sorrows. That reminds me of Queen Charlotte. Sorrows. Sorrows. Apologies. This is a beautiful cover. Wow. That's gorgeous. I can't wait to read it. What is it about? It says, men ogled and touched as I offered my body and soul to the highest bidder. What? And I could tell my stranger didn't like what he saw, or maybe he did. Maybe he liked it too much, and that's why his number shot up. Oh my God. A quarter billion dollars in one existential crisis later, Cash Primrose was dragging me down the aisle in the name of convenience. It's a marriage of convenience, dark romance. Say no more. And is, aren't these like, isn't this series all inspired by myths? Because it says monster monsters and muses, right? Oh, there it is. It's a dark contemporary romance inspired by the myth of Eros and Psyche. Psyche? Psyche? It borrows elements from their story as well as the characters, but it's not a true retelling. Oh, that makes me so happy. It's like one of those family line is the first song in the playlist. And Matilda by Harry Styles help. Is this book sad? Because family line and Matilda, this tells me that there's going to be some family drama. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Two of my favorite songs. Thank you so much, Riley. I love you. I will let you know when I read these and all my thoughts. I wake up every morning with the years ticking by. Hi, this is the first book with smut I ever read and it holds a special place in my heart. I can't wait to hear my favorite YouTuber review on it. Thank you for your contagious laugh. A hug from your Italian bestie, Lisa. Lisa, my Italian bestie. I love that name because it always reminds me of Blackpink and my bio will always be Lisa. Always. I also adore Jenny and Rosé and Jisoo. Let's be honest. They're all icons, but I don't know. There's something about Lisa that just gets me every damn time. And so your name being Lisa? Yes. Anyway, what wh what is it? Oh, wait, it's the, it's the Fallen Men series by Gianna Darling. I literally just got one of the other ones, didn't I? Oh my God. You guys are just making me have all of the Fallen Men books. This is book one. It says he was 18, the heir to a notorious criminal MC and my student. There was no way I could get involved. No way I could stay involved. Then no way I could get her out alive. It's a reverse age gap, forbidden, teacher, student, and it involves a motorcycle club. Say no more. Say no more. I usually don't really read reverse age gap romances. Like I read a lot of age gap, but I haven't read many reverse ones, but this sounds amazing. Ooh, like one of the ones I read that was reverse age gap was Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. And I loved that book. Also, can we talk about the feel of this? Like the cover feels so nice. This is why I love physical copies. I just love to hold my favorite thing in my hands. You know? Thank you so much, my Italian bestie, Lisa. I love you. Thank you for getting me this. I am excited to read this entire series. Maybe I'll do a vlog on the entire series. I feel like that'll be something fun for the future. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm going to read all of these. But now I own some of them, so... <laughs> I will be reading it eventually. Mark my words for someday. Don't mark it for now. Mark it for later in the future. Next year or this year. We'll see. 
when the mood strikes. Thank you, Lisa. I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's open a box because we haven't done a box yet and I wanna use my handy dandy knife. Matilda, you talk of the pain like it's all alright. You could let it go. You could throw a party full of any. Oh, oh, the books are here first. Hold on. Let me see. What is this? Oh my god, Belladonna! I've been wanting to read this. Everybody says it's so good. Look at the cover. Wow. It's be oh my god, it's be oh my god! Under the dust jacket is magical. Look at this. <gasps> Oh my God, look at this, look at this, look at this. Hold on, you need to, you need to fully, hold on, hold on. Look at that, look at that. <gasps> oh my God. It said that five belladonna berries are all it takes to kill someone. Oh my God, what is this about? There's a house in the woods with an Arthurian table and never ending charcuterie board. You know, I learned charcuterie the other day, like not the other day, it was like a year ago, but my bestie was like talking about something and she's like, oh, I want a charcuterie board. And I was like, you want a what? She was like charcuterie board. And I was like, what the fuck is a charcuterie? And I didn't even know how to say it. I was like a charcuterie, a charcuterie? What, what is a charcuterie? And she was like, it's literally like a board with cheese and like grapes and whatever else. And I was like, wow, that's some fancy ass shit I would have never known about. But now I know what it is. That's so besides the point. The story is for those I've sat with at the table who make writing feel like magic. Oh my God, that was just a dedication. Wow. I can tell this book is going to be phenomenal. The writing in that dedication itself was already better than half of the books I read. It says, for as long as Signa Pharaoh has been alive, the people in her life have fallen like stars. Is this like a fantasy? What is it? Is it a fantasy romance? Is it a dark fantasy romance? It doesn't give me much. And that excites me, that intrigues me. I'm gonna put it in next month's TBR. Yes, yes. There's also another book in here. It is um, Off the Deep End by Lucinda Berry. That scares me. Look at that cover scary um survivor's guilt or guilty survivor therapist turned stay-at-home mom her suburban life shatters when she crashes her car into an icy lake her son and another teenage boy plunge into the water with her but she only manages to save one the wrong one she saves the wrong boy she saves her son's friend and not her actual son shut the fuck up that is phenomenal i cannot wait to read this immediately yes like i am going to jump on these both of these are going to be added to my tbr of august because wow i'm so impressed i had no idea what any of these were about and now i am so intrigued that like i want to just pick it up right now i want to drop everything now read these books anyway the note says where's the note oh here it is Here's the note. Larry, you are such a joy and a wonderful person. Every time I see one of your videos pop up in my feed, my day gets better. I can't wait to hear what you think of this book. Enjoy from Sammy. And the other note says, you popping up in my recommended videos is the best thing that ever happened to me. Your reading vlogs are so much fun and have gotten me through some dark days. Thank you for being you from Sammy. Sammy! <laughs> Sammy, thank you so much. These are some of like the most intriguing books I've ever seen in my life. I'm so excited to read both of these. And that's because of you, because I would have never bought these. Like I would have forgot that they were there on my wish list. So thank you so much, Sammy. I'm so glad that my videos can help you. That is all I ever want for any of you is like for my videos to bring you some joy, for you to just giggle, for you to just laugh just a bit, even if it's at my bad jokes, or even if it's at me. Like you don't have to be laughing with me. You can laugh at me, that's okay. I allow it. If it makes you happy, that's all I want. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sammy. I'm so excited to read these. Like, these are gonna be my prized possessions right now. I'm very much obsessed. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'm so glad I popped up on your recommended because now here we are. Forever, baby. Te amo mucho, Larissa. Oh, I love that first sentence. I've been subscribed to your YouTube for over a year. The deal. Oof. Oh my God, since the deal. That was my first video a year ago. <gasps> Oh my God, your wrecks are low-key dangerous. It's your fault. Love you. <laughs> From Ella. Ella. Ella, what do you mean dangerous? This is great. Ella Fox. I love that last name. Ella Fox. It reminds me of Ella Enchanted. I should watch that movie. Okay, but this is a thick one. What is it? Oh, of course. Of course. Y'all have been shoving the Zodiac Academy down my throat. I really, really need to read it, don't I? Which book is this? Which number is it? Does it say? Oh, this is number one. The Awakening, as, oh wait, as told by the boys. This looks different than the other ones that I have. Like the cover looks different. Is it from different POVs? Let me not spoil anything for myself, hold on. Darius, his name is Darius. His name is Darius. 
I already see myself falling for Darius, know nothing about him, but I, I know that I will, I will be falling for him, unless he sucks, in which case, ignore me. Anyway, Zodiac Academy, I'm guessing this is like told by other characters' POVs because it looks different than the other books I own. I don't even know. Like, Zodiac Academy is so long, y'all. That's gonna take me forever to get through. I have so many series to read, and yet you keep pushing me towards Zodiac Academy. And that's so valid, because I really want to read it. I heard it's like a fantasy, but also like dark, but also a lot of romance. I don't know. It definitely calls my name. It definitely says, Larry, read me soon. When soon will be? I don't know. But Ella made sure that I have the book handy when I'm ready. Thank you so much, Ella. I love you, I love you, I love you. Te amo. Te amo mucho, Ella. My angel, my queen. You're so golden. Did I ever tell you guys that's my favorite Harry Styles song? I don't know why. Golden just always gets me. Like, no matter what, it gets me. Every damn time. Girl, what the fuck? Your videos and internet presence and your whole ass amazing vibe have been there for me during my darkest days. <laughs> I love the aggressiveness. Girl, what the fuck? I've dug myself out of a hole and relate to Nesta so much on that. I hope you love this entirely from Turn Pages. Who is Nesta? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Of course, another Court of Thorns and Roses. How many books are in this series? Because this is like the fifth one you guys have gifted me. And this is not one that I own because this one's orange. The only orange I have is like the first one. This is another orange one. I have the pink one. I have the the like blue one, the very thin blue one. I have the the teal one, and now I have this one. I think that that's it, honestly, right? Are there more books coming? Very important question. My girl queen, I love you so much. I'm so glad that my videos help you. All I have to say to you is, girl, what the fuck? I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for this note, honestly. It like just brightened my day because your videos and your internet presence and your whole ass amazing vibe have been there for me. Yes, the vibe was there for you. I love that you love the vibe. Honestly, I feel like all of our vibes just sort of match. We just get each other. Like our little corner of the internet is just so special. Wow. Anyway, thank you so much. Turn pages, she wrote, and she relates to Nesta. So I'm guessing this is Nesta's story in, what is it? Night Court, it says? Okay. And Cassian? Oh, I've seen his name before. Cassian. I know him, I think. Anyway, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm so glad I could be there for you. Girl, what the fuck? I love you. <laughs> Y'all, there are literally no more boxes. I just have to keep opening these and I can't use my knife. That's a little ridiculous if you ask me. Hi, Bestie. I hope you don't have this one. I haven't read it yet, but it's Taylor Swift coded. Thank you for being your bubbly, humorous, and coffee loving self from Sarah. Sarah, thank you for being you. That's all I ever want is for you to be you. This is The Playlist by Morgan Elizabeth. I read this one on Kindle a while ago. I did not have the, the paperback. And you know what? I'm very glad I do now because I need this Swifty cover on my bookshelf. Like, look at this. I need this cover. The dedication says, to the Swifties who found themselves somewhere between the bridge and the chorus and let that shape how they see love in life. Long live. Long live. Long live is my favorite Taylor song. Fun fact. Like if I had to pick just one of all time, it would be long live, but also right where you left me, but also all too well, 10 minute version, but also every single one. Thank you so much for the playlist, Sarah. I love, love, love having this on my shelf. You just know that that would have pleased my Swifty heart. Thank you so much. I love you. Long live. Well, hello. How the king light shine just for me and you. Long live. Hey, Larry, you literally made me feel like a bestie when I watch your videos. Happy Larry. Larry month. I hope your birthday's awesome from Caitlin Wood. It's Larry month. Oh, I love the cover of these books. That's literally why I put it on my wish list because the covers are phenomenal. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is not the most beautiful cover you've ever seen. Finn Rhodes forever. And she has pink hair. Oh, how cute. The guy who broke my heart is now an arrogant, too hot firefighter who's hell bent on getting me back. Ooh. I'll pretend to date him, but actually I'm trying to get him to dump me. Oh, okay. It's giving how to lose a guy in 10 days. Love that. This cover is so beautiful. Stephanie Archer, I haven't read any books by her, but all of her covers are so gorgeous that I just want to own every single one. Like I could hate it and I still want it on my shelf because it is so beautiful. I need the rest of the series. This is like rom-coms and I think that there's several of them as well. And it's dual POV. Oh, I already love it. I already love it. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for celebrating Larry Month. It is a national holiday. 
<laughs> it's not. It's not. No one cares but us, honestly. Let's be honest. Thank you, Caitlin. I love you so, so, so much. I will read this and let you know my thoughts. We're almost done, y'all. Another buddy read? I love you so much. Thank you for being you, Maria. Fucking Maria. I swear, every time I leave Maria alone for five seconds, she gets me a new book. <sighs> what is this? Oh, The Deal Dilemma, Megan Brandy. <gasps> this looks so cute. I love Megan Brandy. She wrote Say You Swear, and therefore she's a queen to me. She can do no wrong. She also wrote Dirty Curve, though. That's one of my least favorite books of all time. But Say You Swear is one of my favorites. So I'd say Megan Brandy. She's walking a thin line right now. <laughs> this could make or break Megan Brandy. <laughs> Ever wonder what would happen if you brided? Brided? Oh, bribed. How embarrassing. I thought it was brided, like you married them. <laughs> Just brided your ass. Your brother's ex-best friend to be your first. Wait, what? You bribed your brother's ex-best friend to be your first. I fear this isn't gonna end well. Maria, yes, let's buddy read it. Maria got me dusted, done and dusted. That's what it's called. I was gonna say dusted on the curve for some reason. Dusted on the curve, that's not what it's called. It's called done and dusted and um, Maria got it for me and I just finished reading it and I enjoyed it so much. So I feel like the deal dilemma is gonna be just as good because Maria has some great, great taste in picking out books. She just never misses. Maria, I love you. Stop getting me books. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for every video. You are so full of energy. You're a joy to watch and an inspiration to keep going on booktube. Enjoy the books from Sam Bean. Sam, I love you, of course. I honestly, being an inspiration, shut the fuck up. I should be no inspiration to anyone. <laughs> wow, it just made my day. Loved you hear that? I'm an inspiration. He doesn't care. Anyway, the book is Thank You For Listening, Julia Whalen. Wait, I really wanna read this because Julia Whalen, get this, she's a narrator, right? Thank you for listening. Clever, you know? But I don't think it's a story of her life or anything. I'm pretty sure it's fiction. Yeah, this person's an audiobook narrator. Oh wait, is it fiction? Julia, did you write yourself in this book but made it fiction? Interesting. What, what genre is this? Wow. 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 I'm so excited. I am very excited to read this. I think I might listen to it <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Julia Whalen narrates it. So I would love to listen to her narrate her own book. I just love doing that. Like, I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. Loved it. So anyway, I really want to listen to this, but also I want to own the paperback because I know I'm going to love it. It might be a five star. So therefore I want to hold it. You know? And Sam made sure that I can do that. Thank you so much, Sam. You should always keep going with what you love, with what you want to do. Never let anybody tell you that it's stupid or that it's silly or make fun of you in any way. I have been there where people tell you you can't do something or they tell you that what you're trying to do is embarrassing. No, what's embarrassing is that they care that much what you are doing. So keep going. Never give up on the things that you want to do because it's worth it if you want to do it. You know what I mean? It's worth it if it makes you happy. That is all that matters and you are going to get there and I am here for you every step of the way. I love you. I love you. I love you. My little Sam Bean. I shouldn't call you that, right? Yeah, I'll stop. Hello? I'm so sad I haven't gotten to use my knife all that much. Like Stuart Little is just, it, it's, he's just there. Like not being put to work. How upsetting. It's a crime for you to not to have these books. Oh wait, I just read this. Sherry Nicole. Wait, did they send it again? <gasps> wait, Sherry. She not only got me reckless, but she also got me powerless. Wait, why did they come separate? Amazon, what the fuck? Look, look, ah! I literally had just said that I didn't have powerless. Guess what? Now I do. I take it back, bitch, because I have it. I'm so excited to own these covers, y'all, because like I said, they're going away soon. Like, look at LZ Silver's, like, information website or whatever so you guys can see when they're leaving so you can buy these if you still want them because they're being traditionally published soon. But the last book in the series, Bo's book, it's gonna come out in this cover so that you can finish your series off. What a queen for that. What a queen for that, like, not changing it halfway. Amazing. Anyway, wow, one of my favorite series of all time. I'm so excited to be holding these. Sherry, Sherry, I love you. I love you. What do we got here? Hi, Larissa, this book has been on my TBR for a while, so let me know if you like it. Thank you for being an absolute sunshine and always making me smile. Also included are some virtual hugs. I love virtual hugs. Wait, let me give you some too. That's me to Kate. Anyway, Kate, thank you so much. Um, the book is the Sundown Motel. Oh, is this a thriller? Oh, it is, because Riley Sager said it's deliciously creepy. Interesting. Something hasn't been right at the roadside Sundown Motel for a very long time, and Carly Kirk is about to find out why. Is this like paranormal? This looks paranormal and mystery. Ooh, 
Ooh, Kate, I will be the guinea pig. I will read this and I will let you know what I think and let you know if you need to move it up your TBR immediately. But knowing me, by the time that I read it, you'll have already read it too. <laughs> Cause that's how long it takes for a book to leave my TBR. But you know what? I will put this next month's TBR just for you. Just for you, Kate, just for you. Also the name Kate, love the name Kate. It reminds me of This Is Us, which is an amazing show. Also very heart wrenching, heart throbbing. No, heart gutting gut heart hurting what's what's it called when you're like gut wrenching very gut wrenching show but amazing and kate reminds me of that because one of the characters name is kate you don't care you don't care thank you thank you thank you so much kate i love you i will read this and let you know my thoughts and let you know if you need to move it up your tbr we're almost done y'all i swear we only have three little things left i promise promise i know you're yelling at me because you're like larry you've been doing this forever bestie thank you for facetiming me on my friend's phone when i couldn't be at book bonanza ah! I remember that. Literally, this was so sweet. They walked up to me and they were like, my friend couldn't be here, but she really wanted to meet you. And then we were like, let's just FaceTime. And we did. I could not hear her very well. And she was in fact driving. She answered the FaceTime and she was driving. And I was like, girly, girly, you're driving. But it's okay because someone else was holding the phone. She was just, she was being, she was being safe. Worry not. I made sure. Anyway, she said, love you and your content so much. I hope you love both of these. <laughs> Jordan Page reads, it's from Booksta. She said that her friends wrote these books. What is it? Oh my God, that's a beautiful cover. You First. You First by Caitlin Moss. And then You and I Rewritten by Chip Pons. Ooh, the rest is still unwritten. Or in this case, rewritten. Anyway, it's the unexpected stories that change us forever. Looks like there's something to do with books in this. I love books about books. So cute and adorable. What's that one movie by Leonardo DiCaprio? Not by him, with him. The one that like, it's, it's something within something within something. Is it The Matrix? No, that's wrong. What is it? Is it even with Leonardo DiCaprio? It's like something within something within something. And I was going to say a book within a book about a book. Get back to me later. I don't remember. Anyway, this one is her brother's best friend and she's his biggest regret. Ooh, this one is you first. And it looks like it's a basketball romance because he's holding a basketball. They also look like they're dressed for like prom or something. So maybe that's where mistakes were made. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. And I love that these are your friends and you got me books by your friends. That's so cute. I love the support. I cannot wait to also support because any friend of Jordan is a friend of mine. That is, that is what I always say. <laughs> Thank you so much for FaceTiming me. That was so much fun. It was an honor to meet you, to meet your friends. I had so much fun at Book Bonanza because of you guys. So Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hopefully one day I will get to give you an actual hug in person, but the virtual hug worked too. Next we've got, where's the note? Hello note. Where's the note? Where's the note? This is a receipt. This is my favorite read of 2023. I love it when you guys do this. It gets me so excited to read a book. Thank you for letting me be able to see that I can give Book Talk a shot. Court, Court K reads, Court. I love you. Of course you can give it a shot. You can give anything you want a shot. I love you and I'm always here to support you. If you ever think someone doesn't have your back, just know that I do. Just know that I do. I got your back from all the way over here. Anyway, her favorite read of the year. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh my God. I really didn't expect this. A museum love story? Curated? Is what it's called by Nellie Wilson? Wait, 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 wait. They're co-workers in a museum? Ooh. Oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. This is so cool. Oh my God, I'm amazed. That is so cool. No wonder this is your favorite book of the year because I have never seen a story like this, like Night at the Museum kind of vibes, <laughs> but make it a romance <laughs> and not the museum coming to life, even though that would be really cool. Anyway, Court, thank you so much. I love you. Honestly, it makes me so happy that I could make you feel like you can do book talk. Of course you can. Of course you can. Like I said, you can do anything. Like it's just all of us sharing our loves for books and that's amazing. And we can all bring something to the table. Like when you feel like there's already too many people doing it. No, no, get that thought out of your brain because you are you and nobody's going to bring that besides you, you know, so you have something to offer. You have something to offer. Never forget that. Thank you so much for this. I'm so excited to read this book. It looks so cute. Thank you. I love you. Drum roll, please, y'all. We've got the last one, the one to end it all. That sounds very dramatic and actually not that good. Let's not say end it all. The one to end this beautiful video that we just had. <laughs> The note says, thank you so much for being such a huge light and helping me out of a dark place mentally. Y'all just, y'all want to kill me with these kind of notes. You really, really do. They make me so emotional every damn time. <laughs> Helping me out of a dark place without knowing I exist. I know you exist. I know you exist and I love you. And thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is from Dill. Hold on. Like a dill pickle. 
<laughs> or maybe like Dylan. I don't know why I said Dill Pickle. Ignore me. The book is... Ooh, this is a new book by Mia Sheridan. Wait, 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 wait. I have been seeing Mia Sheridan come out with so many new books lately. Like she had Stinger and then she had Kyland and now she has Grayson's Vow and look at the cover. Is it a marriage of convenience? What is it? Some vows are meant to be broken, but others are worth risking everything for, even your heart. She must get married and she must get married fast so she can inherit her... What? I think it's a marriage of convenience. Isn't and his name's Grayson. I love the name Grayson. Love, love, love. It reminds me of the inheritance games, even though I am Team Jameson. So I guess that literally contradicts what I just said. But I do love the name Grayson. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dill. I love you. I'm so happy I could help you. Again, that's all I ever want from these videos. I just want you guys to know that you're my best friends and that you mean the world to me. So thank you so much. I love you. I love you. And I'll always be here for you. So here are all the books, y'all. Hold on. Let's put them in a pile. Here we go. Hold on. I'm gonna make a pile. I'm gonna make a pile. Here we go. I'm gonna make a pile because I'm gonna carry all of them. This might be the messiest pile. Yay! <laughs> Hold on. Let's try to pick it up. Shall we? Ooh. I did it. Oh no. Oh no. I did it. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. There you go. <laughs> Here we are. Thank you so much, my shoddy bays. I love you, I love you, I love you. I wish you guys honestly could just feel my love for you. I hope you can. I hope that these videos translate it well because I really, really just am so thankful for you being here, for you getting me anything. You never, never, ever need to. I love you so much and your support and comments and just overwhelming amount of kindness to me is already more than enough. Thank you so much. I hope you know that you're all my best friends and that you mean the world to me, really. Like, I just wanna give you all the biggest hug. I hope I get to meet all of you one day in the future. <laughs> I'm gonna go because this is getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna try to walk away with these books. Yeah, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Here we go, I'm leaving. Bye. Picture me editing this video while drinking my coffee when a knock comes on the door, knock, 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 and then new books arrive that I must include in this video. These four right here. Hold on. Look at the beauty of this. Taste and Tease by Melanie Harlow, but like the really pretty versions. I have the special edition to Ignite, so I'm so glad that now I have these. And look at the beautiful note. It says, I just wanted to say thank you for bringing joy in my life from life with Dez. Dez, I love you so much. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for existing. I just wanted to say thank you for bringing joy into my life. As much joy as I bring to you, you bring to me. I love you. And then we also have these. The difference between these two is iconic to me. The same person got it for me, but look, she got a fantasy thick as fuck, and then she got secretly yours, Tessa Bailey. <laughs> I love the variety. And this is from Kelly Armstrong. Kelly, thank you so much. I feel like you guys have been shoving Sarah J Mass down my throat lately. And by lately, I mean for the past year that I've been here. Um, and you're right, I do need to read this. When am I gonna read this thick book? I don't know, but I will be reading this one soon. Honestly, I'll be reading this one soon too. Let's be honest. Eventually I'm gonna get on my like fantasy Sarah J Mass kick and then I'm not gonna leave. I'm just gonna read all of them. Like I have a feeling I'm just gonna read all of Avatar, all of the Throne of Glass, and then all of this. <laughs> is there a second book to this? I can't imagine there's more to say. But thank you so much, Kelly. I love you, I love you, I love you. I really wanted to include these books in this video, even though I'm in the middle of editing, so. Thank you. <laughs>